Hello, my soul gardeners. It is November, and we've got a special going on right now with Julie Zipper, Skip Jennings, and Sadiqa Salter. During November, we have three of our powerful on-camera practitioners doing a special two hours for the price of one. If you'd like to know more about this special, two hours for the price of one, come on down to sgeletereadings.com. <laughs> Hello, Scorpio. Welcome now to Thursday. Sunny, chatty, and strong today for the officers of the Zodiac. The moon is now in Capricorn, so you are probably really chatty today. Great time to get things off your chest. Great time to send that mass email. Great time to discuss the contract, okay? Your emotions and intellect are working on the same team. You are sharp. You are solid. This is definitely a time to have that conversation, maybe even with yourself, an honest one with yourself. So do that processing today. Adding to the clarity today is the sun. We are entering chapter three of Sun and Scorpio. No ruling planet. That means today we are assessing where we are so far. For the last 20 days, you've been working on changing your persona, changing your ego, changing the way you present yourself, changing the way your soul literally vibrates, upgrading your Scorpio vibration, okay? Which very much is the rules and regulations in which everything lives and your ego, of course. Now that said, today, how are you doing with that? Where are you so far? What changes do you still want to make? We are now on the course of chapter three in the last 10 days. And interestingly enough, the sun will be trining Jupiter retrograde conjunct Uranus in Pisces for the last chapter. That means as you step into the right ego for you, you're going to find that your heart and your joy expands inside. You're gonna feel more joyful. Making the right choices will lead to more joy, okay? Following your joy will lead to the right choices. The two are tied together. It's a blessing from the universe. And when Jupiter goes direct on November 19th, you're going to start to see this joy personified in your actual outer life. Right now, it's only in your inner life. But you will see tangible examples in your outer life at the end of your birthday period if you do the soul work. So do it. And tonight, the moon moves into Aquarius. You'll probably feel exhausted. That means nesting and resting as of tonight. You definitely want to put your emotions into self-nurturing. And if you find yourself cranky, it's because you need some pampering. Remember, you must pamper yourself first rather than expect the world to pamper you. All right. Now, it's Thursday. We've got an episode of Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Everyone Therapist going live today. She is transplanting wisdom from the plants into spirituality helping you with the plant kingdom and what the plant kingdom offers into maintaining boundaries. And in your case, because it's Scorpio, drawing boundaries, sex, intimacy, all the above. Don't miss it, because she's a wise one, and your birthday period is the best time to watch her. She's live everywhere, our garden streams. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have today. But tomorrow, your self-nurturing will rule you. All that tomorrow. Live, love, be. So God.